What's up guys? So got another review for you. Had a company send me one. You know, some of them don't make the cut, but this one seems pretty cool. It's another pocket scanner slash battery checker. And I actually like this one, but we're gonna have my man Steve do a review on it. Lauren's gonna help out, so this will be the first review where all three of us are in it. But it got Steve out there, he's probably sleeping. We're gonna wake him up and uh, maybe have him give his thoughts on what this thing is, show you guys what this is all about. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So just walk past Steve. He pretended like he's working. Yeah. But got a car came in. We've been actually working on since yesterday. Grand Caravan. He's got an intermittent no start check engine light. It's got it's got it had yesterday it had a, a cam code in it. And then we want to check the battery. I sold him battery like a year ago, but we're gonna go ahead and check the battery for an intermittent no start. Kind of going through it, checking out this tool. Show you where it shines. But here's the tool. OBD and battery analyst scanner professional and they're getting pretty crazy with these names um, Kaizy I'd have to say comes with a nice pouch it's the box it comes in um, you guys can see from the box it's got two separate you know obviously you got your update wire probably for the printing it's got the OBD plug and a battery you know two alligator clips that you plug into the battery so you know this thing does actually go through the battery well um, Steve was checking it out earlier but Want to get his thoughts on it, have him take us through, maybe a battery check on it, and then we'll go ahead and scan this thing also to see if that cam code's still in there or not. Show us what's in there. Nice soft case. Fancy little case. Comes with instructions. The device itself. There's the unit. This thing's actually pretty big, too. There's the alligator clips. Battery touch. That would plug into the top for the battery mode. And then here's the OBD plug and the, and the ch I guess charger and printer plug whatever that one is and then you got the destructions there so a nice little case for it but Steve go ahead and get set up and we'll get this battery tested quickly plug it in on the fly and you guys can see this battery interstate battery is still pretty new I you know I, it's pretty sure the battery is good but you know just to check it be on the safe side there's the power up tool the tool automatically powers up you can see the menu battery test it's got the OBD readiness monitors looks like you can print data a lot of cool features on it go into battery tests got some options there and then you guys can see you got cranking test and charging test so you can test all three here you guys start off with number one yeah. And then we got Lauren in here. She's going to rev it up when we do the charging test. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Prompts you to kick the lights on for 30 seconds. Check for surface charge. All right. So go ahead and turn the lights on. Check for a surface charge. So that's cool. It's taking you through the options. You just turn the lights on. I don't know if you guys are reading the screen there. You got to say, you got to say okay or it just no, does it just automatically? Wait 30 seconds and then cut them off. Okay. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so and then you're telling it what the battery is. So we got a regular flooded battery. Some of that stuff's probably automatically set up. Cold cranking amps. What do we got on the amperage? 790 on this Cold one. cranking amps are 790. So you scroll it up to 790 there, and it's going to test. Probably do a quick load test, digital test, digital load test on the battery. Testing. Good battery and it gives you your, your health report. Obviously, like I said, guys, we just sold them this battery, so I knew it was good, but maybe st check the starting. If it, this thing does start, he says the customer says it intermittently doesn't start. And then what, you go to the next one? Yeah, you escape. So you'll escape out of number one. It's also got a quick test there too. So you go back in the battery test then? Yeah. Okay. Back in the battery test, and then go down to number two, we'll do a cranking test. And it's telling you start engine, so go ahead and start it, Lauren. I'm gonna tell you RPMs detected. It detected RPMs, so testing it. Probably checking the ripple, your drop down, normal it says. So it gives you a health check on that. 
So that one's done too? Yeah, now you can keep it running. Just escape back and go straight to your charging test. It gives you the ripple test. Nice. Gives you a little graph to see it. Does it tell you to turn the loads on and all that? Yeah, it'll tell you, it'll load test it and then unload it. It'll ask okay. you to RPM 2500. So increase the RPMs 2500 for five seconds. So charging normal. Pretty cool stuff. And that's the whole process? Yeah, that's the whole battery hey. check process. Hey, as long as it gets it done. I mean, there's a few less steps in there compared to uh, like a Midtronic, you know, testing the battery with the Midtronics or the Snap-on one. But, you know, hey, for, you know, what the cost of this scanner is, you can't expect it to do everything. And who wants to spend, you know, six, seven hundred dollars on a Midtronics to just do a basic battery alternator charging test? So not too bad. So that's good. Go ahead, turn it off. So that's pretty much it, huh? And then, yeah. and then you can go back and uh, review all the data. So if you want to bring the customer out, you can show them, flip through it, or print it, obviously, but I don't have a printer set up for this, and it's not like I need to print it, but nice. So health report, charge 88%. Yeah, camera's picking it up, cool. Nice bold letters there. Nice screen too, colored screen. I dig it. We'll see how this thing handles the uh, OBD. We'll Go ahead and maybe, does it do ABS or anything like that? Well, we'll see when we... Yeah, let's, let's hook it up to the OBD port. All right, guys. So before we use the OBD portion of this, Steve broke out the cord right there. I want to test this old Duralast battery we sold a customer about a week ago. And I know this one's bad, so we're going to go ahead and test it. We just kind of put the little bolts in there so we get a good connection on it because it's side post. We'll see if this thing shows bad battery, what it says. We'll just do a quick test on this one. Get rid of that glare. Here, extend that up a little bit. There you go. So I'll just go to a quick battery test. It's asking for a surface charge. About a surface charge, it's out of the vehicle. It didn't ask in vehicle, out of vehicle? No. So you could go right into it. What are we? 650. 650 on this one. And then replace. So that's pretty much what it's gonna say on a replace battery. Like I said, this one's been sitting around for a bit, so it's only 11 volts or whatever, but definitely giving you a 0% health, 0% charge. Probably could have been sitting for a week on concrete, but cool. Good battery and a bad battery difference. Let's get this thing scanned. guys. So we got it hooked up. He pretty much just changed over the cable. You can see this, lay, this leads a little bit longer, which is cool. Gives you your room and all that stuff, but he hooked it up to the OBD port, DLC. Goes to the same menu, just scroll over to OBD. It's gonna run through all the protocols, find the one it needs. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, it's pretty So it's probably clear. one of the top, usually it takes a while. Clear the previous data. And like I said, this thing did have a cam code in it. So we reset it yesterday after we dealt with that. So it's probably uh, gonna show some monitors not being ready. Look at the stored codes, see if it's in there. Nothing no stored. There. It does give you pending and permanent codes. Pretty cool. You can just navigate through that. So nothing in any of them. What else, what other, do we got the readiness monitors? Yeah, so it gives you live data, right, you could read, obviously you raise codes, the IM readiness monitors on board, com component tests, keep going down. Does it scroll down more? Yeah, there's like a little there's more. more. Oh, that's cool, vehicle, vehicle info. info. So it's got a little reset. more than just your basic pocket scanner, but you know, it keeps it basic, ease of use. You know, you're obviously not doing anything crazy with this or anything bi-directional, but you know, it does get the job done. Let's check readiness monitors. It's still you can actually just go out and just hit the IM button. Okay, so it's got its own. Go straight into it. It's got, it's got its own menu for readiness monitors. I want to see what monitors are ready on this thing. What do we got so far? Obviously, fuel's not ready. Oh, you didn't start it. Right. All right, cat's still not ready. We're waiting on O2 and EVAP. Obviously, we just did it yesterday, so maybe one more test drive. But that's pretty cool. Same basic functions in any old scanner. I can dig it. You know, it's, it gets the job done. Cool stuff. And then you got your DTC look up here. You could review data. So now that we logged on to that, uh, show, do like a PO300. See what it says. Random misfire. And this ain't hooked to the internet, so this is everything that's programmed in here. Yeah, it gives you a brief description of the you know, P codes, U codes, I'm sure. Just like any typical scanner. Um, there's our cam. That's the code we were having with it. I don't know if you guys are catching that on camera. Um, but yeah, go out, go to the, go see if it records data. It does. It's, it's, it claims that on the box. So go to review data and see if we review 
Okay, so we didn't record anything. So if you did, if you went to record, you would obviously run through the test. So what other functions does it have in this? So let's see if we can record that. And right on there, it'll tell you ignition type, if there's any codes stored, all that stuff. So live, so if you live, live data, data, go ahead, hit that, and then maybe start it. You pull it up the PID list here, show what kind of PIDs it has. Let's go to everything, let's see what it has. So, pretty extensive, or what, how many pages? So it's got, uh, yeah, it's got the same typical long-term, short, RPM, vehicle speed, spark advance. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, yeah, it's not bad. It's actually got more than I thought. For the OV, it's got the O2s. So if you want, what if you wanted to test drive and record those? Is there like a record button or what's down here? I am button escape. Might Direction. be towards the end of the list. Well, I was more or less just saying, like rev it up now. What I'm, what I'm, is, is it constantly recording or? So here, now that we did that, so go back now and see if it's storing this. Like how long? Oh, okay, so you'd have to, it, a separate, okay, so you, if you went to that record one, data. you would, with the PIDs you wanted to record, you could do a custom PID list, okay, or, and you could even set a trigger on it. All right, so not too bad, that's cool, and then you could record it and maybe play it back if you had to, or not sure if uh, you'd have to print that or send it to a cloud, because there's no external SD card on it or anything like that, it's not like right. you could save it for good. So maybe the, till the next time you clear it, but good enough to show the customer and all that. I think it's actually waiting. It's waiting for a trouble code to be kicked right now to start recording. Oh, you set a trigger? Yeah, that was the only option I had. That's kind of cool. On a, on, a, on, a, on a PID, right? You set a trigger on a certain PID? Yeah. You were able to pick it? Yeah, I think you can do custom data set. That's kind of cool. So you'd have to navigate your way through it, but it definitely has pretty cool options, it looks like. That's pretty much where you'd set the yeah custom the pids the troublematic pids or anything like that or a system that's in it. Pretty cool. You got the units of measurement. What's in settings here? If you went all the way out, what do we got in settings? Kind of closing this one out. So obviously your print data settings. So you'd have obviously language. It's bilingual. Um, units of measure. The key beep. You could get the you know the tone to go away if the beeping bothers you guys. Update mode, tool self-test, so pretty cool stuff. Got more than a lot more options than some of them in there. Still no check engine light though. And you can actually, once you uh, go in and set that data to review and save it, you can actually go back. And sh it'll show it. And just There's your recorded it. data. Pretty cool. Nice. All right, so wrap this one out. All right, guys, so in closing on this Kaizi, um, you know, OBD scanner slash battery analyzer, you know, it's decent. I mean, for the price, links will be down in the description, but for the price of it, you know, just the battery portion alone, it's probably worth the tool. Um, you know, as far as, as far as the OBD, you know, the DLC portion of it, you know, it's pretty basic, like any other pocket scanner. But, you know, for me, if I were to buy this thing, I'd buy it for the battery analyzer portion of it. Obviously, you could see it definitely checked a good battery. I knew that this Dodge had a good battery in it. Like I said, I sold them battery maybe 10 months ago, but with the no start, I always check battery. It's standard procedure here. And then tested that you know, the Duralast battery, I just wanted to see whether it said replace battery or if it gave a percentage or however like the Midtronics does. It's it's similar as far as the Ripple and all that stuff, but I'd buy it for the Bandit Lanterns. Definitely A plus on that. Thumbs up for that. The OBD portion of it, you take it or leave it. You know, I'd buy this thing just to be a battery test. The OBD is just kind of an added bonus, but links will be down in the description. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to get out of Steve's area because it stinks in here. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.